I'm going to show you step by step how to create these five social media posts using sound waves also known as audiograms. We create these two designs using Canva Free and these another three using Canva Pro. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Let's start by creating the free social media post using free sound waves. Here I am in canva.com. I'm going to be using a free account for the first two designs. If you are new to Canva, I left a link in the description so you can create a free account. Here I am in the Canva homepage and we're going to start by creating a social media post. So let's go to the social media section. And from here, we are going to select this option that says Instagram post square 1080 by 1080. Selecting this particular document is very important because this will allow you to access the Canva templates that I will show you in this project. So let's go Instagram post square and create blank. Once in the Canva editor, you will see that the templates section is open. We're going to leave it like this. And then if you want to find podcast templates available in the Canva library, you can type podcast. If you want to work with the templates that we're going to use today, you can add an at Diana Munoz at the beginning. So add Diana Munoz space podcast hit enter and from here you will find the templates that we're gonna use today. From here we're gonna scroll down until you see the following template. This is the design that we're gonna use first so click on it and you can adjust the text so it has your own messaging. If you want to change anything you just double click on any text box and then you can add your own text. Once you have customized your template you are ready to add the sound wave animations or audiograms. To do this, we are going to go to the elements section and we're going to type on the search box at Canva original stickers and then waveform. You hit enter and then you will go to the graphics section. In here you will find a bunch of different stickers with this sound wave animation and what I like about them is that they have different colors so they match your designs. In this case I will go with this black one so I'm gonna bring it to my design and then I'm gonna make it smaller. I'm gonna position it next to the play button so I'm gonna delete these two in here and bring it closer to the play button. I'm going to make it even smaller so it aligns to this text box right here. If you want, you can use guides. So let's go to file, go to show rulers and guides, and then we can create one guide by clicking on the ruler and then dragging our line to the right. I think this one is in the right position. And then let's create another one like this to position in this section. I'm going to duplicate it by clicking on the item and then clicking on the duplicate button. I'm going to bring it here to the side and then I'm going to flip this animation horizontally. You can leave it as it is or you can flip it, I guess, and that depends on your personal taste. Once you have finished positioning your sticker, we can remove the ruler and guides. So I'm going to click here again and I can pay attention to my design. And I guess this is the right position of my sticker. Now I'm going to show you how to upload your own audio to Canva so you can insert it into this social media post. We're going to go to the uploads section on the left hand side and then upload files. You're going to select your audio file and then hit open. You will see that your audio file will be loading. And then once this loading bar disappears, you can click on this audio file and it will be inserted into your social media post. From here, you can play your audio file to check that you have selected the right audio file. So play. Social media posts using animated sound waves can bring traffic to our podcast. Okay, this is the right file. So now I'm going to show you how to download this design. We're going to go to the navigation bar on top and select share. 
Now click download and you're gonna leave it as mp4 video. Then select download and remember that I'm using a Canva free account so I was able to create the social media post with the sound waves completely free. Now let me show you quickly how to create the second design that is completely free and then at the end I'm gonna show you the three designs in which we are gonna use different sound waves available only for Canva Pro users. We're going back to the Canva homepage. Remember to go to social media and then select Instagram post square, create blank. And from here, having the templates section open, we're gonna type at Diana Munoz podcast. The second design that we're gonna create today, it is this one. You have to scroll down until you find this blue design. If you like any of the other templates that you see in here and they don't have a crown, you will be able to use them for free. The ones with the pro account will be available only for Canva Pro users. Okay, so this is the template that we're gonna use now and let's go back to elements. We're gonna type exactly the same keyword as before, so add Canva original stickers, waveform. Hit enter and go to graphics. For this design, I'm gonna use a different sticker. I'm gonna use this one right here. And before we continue with the design process right here, I want to show you the different options that you can find with these keywords. So you have quite a variety in terms of colors and also in terms of shapes of the sound waves. So you have all of these stickers for free. And as I already mentioned, you can select the ones that match your design colors. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. I'm gonna adjust the size and then position it to black. I'm also going to change the transparency of this element because if you didn't know, you can change the transparency of the animated elements in Canva like this one. So I guess I'm gonna leave it like 20 points. I like it like this because you can see the animation going on in the background but it's not interfering with the design. After this you can again add your audio so you go to uploads. I already have my audio uploaded so I just click here. Now I'm gonna show you an extra step which is very very important and we didn't follow in the first design because the length of the sticker, the animation, it was exactly the same length as my audio. And the final result came out perfect but with this other design my animation has a different length than my audio file so we have to do something different here. As you can see only a section of my audio file is selected. So as you can see, the section in color, it is around, let me see, it is around six seconds and we're missing three seconds of the audio. If I were to download my animation like this, then the audio is not going to be complete. So how do we fix this? Select the gray area, so we deselect our audio and now we are going to adjust the timing of our animation. Our audio it is 9 seconds long and our animation is 6.7 seconds. So we can fix this by adjusting the timing of our animation and we're gonna leave it to 9 seconds. We're gonna double check again our audio to see if the whole audio or the section that we want on this animation has been selected. So let's go again to our audio view. So click here. And as you can see now, my whole audio has been selected. So I'm happy now and I can download it now. So again, we go to share, download, MP4 and download. Now let me show you how to create these other three designs using Canva Pro. So I have changed my Canva account and now I'm using a Canva Pro account. Let's go again to social media. Let's select an Instagram post, which is square, create blank. From here, we're gonna do the same search. So add Diana Munoz podcast hit enter and we're gonna use this template right here which has the 
Pro label. Because I'm using a Canva Pro account, I'm able to use this template. So let's bring this template to our empty page. And now let's find our sound wave or audio wave. But this time we're going to search in a different library inside Canva. Instead of going to elements, we're going to go to videos and we're going to type audio wave. Hit enter. In here you have a lot of audio wave animations that you can use on your designs. As you can see, these are very different to the ones that we saw inside the elements library and we can also use them on our designs. So what I would like to do is to add one of them in the background of this template. So let me try to find something that can look good here. I think this one, this green color can match the green in my design. So we're going to drag it and put it in the background of my design. We will need to adjust a couple of elements. So in this case, the color of my text box and some of these elements right here so I can do it pretty quick and now let's preview this animation let's go to the preview button and it will look something like this now let's add our audio because we now need to match the length of the audio with the length of the video that we just added in the background. So let's go again to upload audio. We're gonna add our audio to the design. Remember that my audio is nine seconds. I need to make this video in the background match my nine seconds of the audio. So I'm gonna click on the video that is in the background that has the audio wave animation. And as you can see, this one is 19 seconds. If I were to leave it like this, my audio will loop again and again until we have the 19 seconds and that's not what we are looking for. So I'm going to click on the video and then go to this button with the scissors. So from here, we're going to adjust the length of the video so it matches the nine seconds of our audio. Once you have your nine seconds or the same length of your audio, you're gonna hit done and then share download as mp4. While this video is downloading, I'm gonna show you the name of the video that I'm using in the background in case that you cannot find it when you type audio wave. This is the animation or the video that I used and let me show you the name. This one is called audio spectrum wave. So if by any chance you cannot find it by typing audio wave, try typing this title. Hopefully it will appear on your end. For the second design using Canva Pro, we're gonna start directly from the Canva editor because you already know how to create a design and you know the keyword to find the templates that we are using today. So go to templates, type this keyword and the design that we're gonna use now, it is down here. So you can add it to your empty page. And now let's go back to videos. We're going to use the same keyword we used before, so audio wave. For this particular template, I found an animation that goes really well with it. So let me try to find it down here. It is one with a white background. I think it's this one. Let me show you the title of this animation. This one is called Sound Waves Audio Signal and I'm going to drag it to the background of this design. I'm going to remove this little star from here and there you go. If you want to adjust this video in the background, you can double click on it and you can change the position of this animation. You can also change or adjust the transparency of the video if that's what you want. It can also look good if you have a color in the background, like for example in this case I have 
have a light beige in the background so the animation kind of blends with the color and it looks like this. I think this one is very subtle but it looks very good with this template. Again to add the audio you can go to upload, go to audio, insert your audio file and then adjust the length of your video in the background. So this one is 30 seconds, go in here and adjust it to 9 seconds and then you will be ready to download your video. Now let me show you how to create the third social media post using Canva Pro. We are again in the Canva editor and the template that we're gonna use for this project is down here. It is a pink one. It is this one right here with the Pro label. Gonna bring it to the design but before let me keep scrolling down because I think you may be interested in any other of the designs that we have available in here. So let me go to the end of the search result just to show you maybe you guys are interested in these other styles and now let me continue editing this video right here. So again let's go to videos and type audio wave. The animation that we're gonna use for this template, it is right here. It is called Audio Visualizer. I'm gonna bring it to the background of my design. In this case, I'm gonna adjust a tiny bit my template. So I'm gonna delete this element right here. I'm gonna change the color of these two text boxes. So let's make them white and now if you want, you can keep the name of these two people featured on this design. I'm gonna delete them and then I'm gonna change the color of this little icon so it matches the colors of the animation that we are using here. So I'm selecting the icon, go to color, then click on the plus icon, select the color picker and then I'm going to select a blue nearby the icon. So I think this one will go really well with it. And then we are ready to roll. Let's go and add our audio. So let's go to uploads, audio. Let's add our audio file. And then let's match the video length to our audio. So let's click on the video and then let's make it nine seconds hit done in here you can also add some transparency if you want i'm gonna add some transparency to this design to make it softer remember that in the background we have a pink color so this one matches really well with the gradient in the video and then another trick that i wanted to show you is that you can double click on the video and because this one has a gradient, we can have a different style if we move it all the way to the right. Let me show you. It's mostly pink, I will say, with some purple touches on top. And then if you move it all the way to the left, you will have the pink touches on the right upper section and also down below in here. So you can move your video around to have a different vibe. I guess I'm gonna leave it like this. And then I'm gonna click on share, download mp4 video and download. I just wanted to show you this little trick. I know that I mentioned it in the previous design but just to show you again that you can play around with the videos available in the Canva library. And these are the final results. If you want to find more trendy Canva templates for your social media, you can go to my Canva profile and follow me there so you can have new templates every week. I'm gonna leave the link to my profile in here. And also, if you are still wondering if you can record your voice inside Canva, yes, you can. And I'm gonna leave that tutorial in here. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and really hope to see you in the next one. Bye.